going on guys it's your boy blastoise here and in today's video we're going to be giving you a tour of content town this is the spawn location right here so this is where you spawn and you won't have boats so newcomers that join will have to swim you have to swim to that dock i mean you don't have to but that's like the way in so come on over i have the luxury of a boat but and so you're here at the dock which leads to the fisherman's hut somebody forgot to close the door but yeah this is the fisherman's hut we uh switch to first person that's a nice little cozy place it's empty because it was just built nobody's done fishing yet we'll have a merchant hopefully in here and yeah that's the plans for that so I'm gonna have both of these gates open. And you come through here. This is my nephew's house. He has constructed some kind of monstrosity. I don't know what it is. He uh, he's very young. But yep, this is his house. I think he's six years old, seven. Pretty good for that age, I would say. This is the love shack. This is where everything on the server originated. When we play survival mode, this is where everybody goes. So this is all of our tools, wood, whatnot. This is so we can hear if somebody's coming through if you left the door open. Boats so that you can travel to out the map, like out the city. Here we have Stealth Bomber Beach. I can't fly up and show you. But it's a Stealth Bomber, I promise. Then over this way we have the Flea Market. The Flea Market is just a couple villagers in there. But we keep it closed for the skeletons and stuff so they don't come and try to shoot them. Then over here we have... Josh's Playhouse. My friend Josh made this. He's got everything he would need. Everything cheated into the game. I'm just kidding. It's creative mode, yeah. Well, he's not like giving himself armor and weapons and stuff. He's just building his house. He didn't want to like grind out all the resources and all that again after we just did it all for the first house and James's house over there in the distance. Sorry James, I keep saying your name. Monster904. Here's his basement. Here's the heater source. And it goes up. All three floors have holes so that they uh, heat the rooms. Dear. Then we'll, uh, we'll make our way over here to Boots and Pants, which somebody left the door open again. It, it lags over there. I think it's the doors. Boots and Pants. Here we have the Auto Charcoal Farm. Thanks to Monster for teaching me how to do that. Here we have um, the mass production. So if we need to mass produce a material like Nether Rick another brick we can do that not cheated by the way we actually did mine all of this nether brick so so here we have the dunes um it's just sand piled up so that's why i refer to it as that and then we have the blue hole Yep, 13 blocks. I mean, it's not that deep. So if you make it here, leave your mark. You gotta do it quick. Luckily, I'm a turtle. I can breathe on the water. And then let's take a trip over here. According to my little chart here, right here, that you guys are not subscribed. 55% of you actually are not subscribed. What are you doing? Subscribe. If you're gonna watch, subscribe. Appreciate it. Back to the video. To the other side of the the village. 
Here's the original charcoal farm. That's where I recreated the entire thing and put it inside the warehouse. So in theory, we, we could get rid of this, clean up the area a little bit, and then this can be another plot of land for someone. Um, here we have the jail, all made out of bedrock. So only thing that can be mined in here is the glass and that leads to lava so you don't want to do that here's the jumpsuits for all the prisoners somebody was busy with that in prison you also have to deal with this yes you have to deal with that Here we have Monster's Pawn Shop. We, uh, we decorated a little bit. These are all for sale. Um, the sets are for sale as well. We have the prices listed above. Three emerald for iron, 26 diamonds, plus three emeralds for full set of diamond. And then 64 diamonds plus five ender eyes for a full set of netherite. And through here, don't mind these guys, it's where we mass produce the, uh, or not mass produce, but this will be the storage for inventory. So we'll have plenty of inventory space for them when people join the server. Stay tuned for details on that. I'm trying to make it like a little community here. Everybody here is... The goal is to defeat the Ender Dragon and do that. Here we have the lighthouse made out of white concrete, black concrete, and copper stairs, iron bars, and we put wool down on top of the bars so you didn't fall through. Yep, that's a nice little lighthouse. Sea lanterns for the light. And Dead Bites working on the music store. This is going to be our music store. Over here is Monster's House. It is already been shown off several times on the channel, but just as a refresher. Um, this is what this is. This entire home has been and will be constructed in survival mode. So nothing here has been cheated in. You should have seen the scaffolding this dude had to make. Not the actual scaffolding in the game, but like he built bricks and stuff up so he can build all the way up there. His house has come a long way, I'll tell you that. Like, we put the bricks down. That's why they were mass producing them. That's, I mean, I guess you could say it was cheated a little bit because we mass produced the uh, by putting furnaces. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and more details to come in the future on if, how to join the server. And yeah, guys, take care. Peace.